Medicare supplemental plans, what are the differences between all these carriers that you see? So when you have a Medigap plan, there's a couple important things to keep in mind. Number one, Medicare is the primary payer. So what that means when you go to the doctor, you're gonna give the doctor your Medicare card and you're gonna give the doctor your secondary insurance card, okay? So when that's the case, you can see any doctor or hospital in the country that takes Medicare, which is most doctors, I've never seen a doctor take insurance and not take Medicare. And every hospital in the country takes Medicare. So insurance companies have standardized plans. So every company that offers plan A, B, D, F, or G, it's the exact same coverage. The differences across these carriers are the initial price, but more important than that is how they raise rates over time, which would be the rate stability. So when you're first turning 65, you have a six month window where you can get a Medicare supplemental plan without any health questions. Doesn't matter if somebody's perfectly healthy or has cancer, you're gonna pay the same rate. You have what's called an open enrollment. Again, there's a lot of plans, so there's a lot of letters, right? But again, every company that offers plan K, plan L, it's the exact same coverage. Right, so you don't have to worry about does my doctor take this particular company. As long as the doctor takes Medicare, he'll take the secondary insurance plan. All right, so let's look at an example. I'm gonna show you an example called Plan G. Um, now Plan G, you could say, is the most comprehensive Medicare supplemental plan for folks that are new to Medicare. Uh, and then I'll show you a plan that has a some slight differences that's a little bit cheaper called plan n okay so for plan g with original medicare again remember part a they'll cover up to 150 lifetime days of room and board when you get a supplemental plan they're going to add a year to that okay and the supplemental plan this particular plan plan g is going to pick up all your cost as an inpatient it's going to pick up the deductibles and the co-pays from original Medicare. So you have no out-of-pocket costs for coverage services as an inpatient, okay? The other thing you'll notice is for skilled nursing, as long as this follows a three-day inpatient hospital stay, the Plan G is gonna pick up your daily copay per day from days 21 through 100. Getting over to what it picks up for Medicare Part B, so when you have Plan G, you still have that annual $233 deductible, and that's per calendar year. So basically what's going to happen, when you go to the doctor, you know, the first time or the first few times, you're going to get a bill for the Medicare contracted rate until you hit that 233 annual deductible. Once you hit that 233 annual deductible, then again, all covered expenses are, are covered at 100%. Okay. You can see there's certain situations where that Part B deductible applies, which are outlined here. So, you know, for uh, basically any testing, therapies, blood work, doctor visits, you're going to be subject to that deductible. Okay. Now, the other uh, service that Plan G covers is Medicare excess charges, which we'll touch more on. But basically, what an excess charge is. In some states, doctors can bill in excess of 15% of what they would get paid from Medicare. So, for example, if the doctor gets paid 100 bucks, they could bill 115. That $15 would be called an excess charge that would be billed to the patient. Now, in states where that can happen, uh, the Plan G is going to pick up any excess charges. Okay, and there's also eight states where that's against the law. Okay, it's called mom's law with Medicare overcharge measure where they cannot bill excess charges. Okay, now supplemental plan N. There's some subtle differences between G and N. So you can see for the hospital, you're going to pay, it, it's the same as an inpatient. Plan N also picks up the uh, per admission deductible. It picks up your co-pays in the later days of hospital stays. So again, you don't have any uh, costs for covered services as an inpatient. The Plan N is also going to pick up those days 21 through 100 of skilled nursing, the copays, again, as long as it follows a three-day inpatient hospital stay. 
Okay, so this touches a little bit on, again, what a Medicare excess charge is, okay? So again, the doctors can bill in excess of 15% of what uh, Medicare covers, um, and then that's basically the excess would in turn be billed to the patient. But again, there's those eight states where it's against the law to bill excess charges, and those are up on the screen here, okay? So some important dates to keep in mind. Um, you have your uh, open enrollment dates. This is when somebody's first turning 65 or when somebody has an initial Part B effective date, okay? A lot of carriers will let you lock in the rate or apply for a Medicare supplement up to six months before your Part B effective date. Okay, and once your open enrollment ends, then you would be subject to what's called underwriting or having to answer health questions, okay? So you usually have this six month before and six month after time frame, okay, where you're not gonna have health questions. So let's say somebody gets a Medicare supplement, two years go by, they wanna change to another Medicare supplement plan. Uh, technically, you, you can do that, you just have to get approved, right? So this annual enrollment period that you hear about from October 15th through December 7th of every year, that's to change a Medicare Advantage plan or to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan or to change your drug plan every year without question. There is no annual enrollment period for Medicare supplements because technically you can apply for a Medicare supplement at any time, you just have to get approved. So again, what we usually try and do is go through your unique situation to make sure that the plan will work for you. A lot of choosing whether a Medicare supplement or Medicare Advantage is right for you depends on you know, what you value more. Some people value cost, some people value access. What I mean by access is, would you wanna be able to see a doctor no matter where they were located if you felt they could treat you the best? Because a supplement does give you access to nationwide care. There is no network. So thanks for checking us out. You can hit the subscribe button. Follow us for more Medicare info.